Geographic Coordinates and Map Projection by Sarah Smith Tripp. This video covers geographic coordinate systems. A geographic coordinate system is a coordinate system where values represent positions on the Earth's surface. They are important because they allow us to define areas on Earth's sphere in a mapping system like ArcGIS. Geographic coordinate systems are useful because they allow us to use map projections, which project Earth's surface onto a plane. So Earth's surface is a 3D object, but we often work in 2D situations, and to do this we use different types of projections. Understanding map projections is important for working within GIS because it's necessary for accurately plotting different spatial objects but it's also important as a map consumer because we know that map projections can alter the apparent size when you view a map. In the dynamic photo to the right, you can see the influence of a Mercator projection, which we'll learn soon is a conformal projection that preserves angles but doesn't preserve size. As a result, areas like Greenland often appear larger than they actually are. There are three types of projection systems. There are conformal projections, which are like the Mercator projection that preserve angles, equal area or equivalent projections, which preserve area, but not necessarily angles, and equidistant transformations, which preserve distances. No fat map can be both conformal and an equivalent projection. These three projection types uh, will appear as follows. So to the left we have conformal projections where you can see that northern and southern areas generally appear larger than their actual size. And then equal area which attempts to maintain local area and make sure that is accurate. And then finally equidistant transformations where the actual distances between two points is accurate. Here you can see I've started a new project where I just loaded in base map data. And ArcGIS Pro has a very cool function called Project on the Fly, where you can go to Properties and go to Coordinate Systems. And then within Coordinate Systems, you can define the overall map's projection. And so Geographic Coordinate Systems refer to the Mercator-like projections that we briefly discussed. To use a geographic coordinate system, which will be a conformal projection, we can go to North America and then select NAD 1983. When we click OK, we'll see this conformal projection appear on the screen. Following, if I would like to see an equidistant or equal area projection, if I would like to see an equal area projection, one of those, an example of one of those is 1983 Canada Atlas Lambert. And I can place this in the search bar. Type search. And we'll see that's a projected coordinate system, but it'll lead us directly to there. And when we zoom out, we see the equal areas that it's preserving in North America. Finally, we can use a UTM coordinate system, which I will go over the details of very soon. But an example of a UTM coordinate system, it's again a projected coordinate system. Go to UTM. I'm working in North America, and I know that British Columbia is zone 11 north. So I'll click this button. Now I will see NAD 1983 11 north, and that's for working in this area here. The next portion of this video will go over the Universal Transverse Mercata System, or the UTM system. The UTM coordinate system divides the Earth into 60 zones, each 6 degrees of longitude wide. These zones define the reference point for the UTM grid coordinates within the zone. UTM zones extend from a latitude of 80 degrees south to an 84 degrees north. 
In the polar regions, the universal polar stereographic grid system is used. Note that there are a few exceptions to the zone width in Europe to make sure, like here, to make sure that small countries stay in the same zone. UTM zones are numbered 1 through 60, starting at the international date line with a longitude of 180 degrees and proceeding eastward. Zone 1 extends from 180 degrees west to 174 degrees west and is centered on 177 degrees west longitude. British Columbia spans zone 7 to 11. Each zone is divided into horizontal bands spanning 8 degrees in latitude. These bands are lettered south to north, beginning at 80 degrees south with the letter C and ending with the letter X at 84 degrees north. The letters I and O are skipped to avoid confusions with the numbers 1 and 0. The band lettered X spans a whole 12 degrees of latitude. Now, in Eastings, the central meridian of each UTM zone is assigned an Easting value of 500,000 meters east. This 500,000 meter value is arbitrarily assigned and as the such, Eastings are sometimes referred to as false Eastings. An Easting of zero will never occur because UTM zones never exceed 500,000. The minimum and maximum values for Easting at the equator, so here, is 160,000 meters east and 834 meters east. In the most northern UTM zones, the minimum and maximum values are 465,000 and 515,000. So they are much smaller. For locations north of the equator, they are assigned an easting, a northern value of 0 meters north. To avoid negative numbers, locations south of the equator are assigned a value of 10 million meters north. To avoid confusion, the full coordinate should specify if the location is north or south of the equator by including the letter for the latitude band. Here is a simple schematic of the universal transverse Mercata system that we just went over, where 500,000 500, meters east is right down the middle of the UTM zone, and the UTM zone has a 6 degree longitude, and this one has an 8 degree latitude. Thank you so much for watching our video. Feel free to ask us any questions by reaching out following the details below.